Today I'm going to share with you guys a book, and not just any book, a book that I can guarantee you, you don't know about, probably never heard of, but there is a place in your heart where this book belongs, and after you read it, you will definitely be saying, Team Sean, the book that no one knows about that you have to read is... Stay tuned. Wasabi my poppy and welcome back to another video. If you've been in my videos before, let me introduce myself if you're new here. My name is Arlen. You guys can call me Arlen. So you might be here because you saw the title and you're like, what book? What book is it that no one knows about that I have to read? That's what we're going to be getting into today. I'm going to be telling you what the book is called and what it's about and the genre and all that stuff and hopefully you will decide to read it because I really want more people to know about this book because it is so underrated and it's not that people read it and don't like it it's that people don't know it exists i can't believe like i'm one of the only people <laughs> like that have read this book i think because it has five reviews on amazon but the reviews are like all good those five people know about it okay those five people agree with me so basically right now we are going to do a little story time and it's gonna be great it's gonna be so much fun spoiler free by the way this video is spoiler free so definitely read the books after you watch this without further ado Let's get into it. Grab some popcorn and let's go. Go. Let's go. Okay, so basically this story takes place in... Well, it's kind of interesting because it depends on where you grow up. But we have three main characters, all of them we get to see in their point of views. One is a girl, two is a boy. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see where I'm going with this? All right, so Levy Riviere and Sean Rockefeller are scientists. They live underground in a city called Carsix. That's right, they live underground these are two of our main characters levy is the girl and sean is a boy they don't know each other really that well but they do kind of work together ish you know like they're both scientists and they don't know for sure if like above ground exists it's kind of just like not a myth but they've just never been up there so it's kind of just like this thing in the back of their mind that they've kind of just you know what i mean you know what I mean. So basically there's like this plague going on and since they're in the city, you know, it's obviously gonna be a lot worse in a city with a big population. So Levi and Sean's path kind of intertwine together when Levi is trying to escape from the city because the disease, by the way, is called death. Yeah, it kills you. Yeah, she's trying to escape, hopefully above ground because it's all underground. So basically she's trying to escape and Sean kind of like I wouldn't say bumps into her, but kind of like metaphorically bumps into her. Their paths kind of go together when they're both trying to get out of the city. They're in this tunnel system trying to get above ground, and there's kind of like some tension going on because they're both really smart. They're both scientists. They're both really practical, realistic, matter of fact, rational, logical people. So they're kind of bickering and stuff, and this is where we get our beautiful dynamic, by the way. They're beautiful beautiful dynamic this book's genre is fantasy and maybe a little bit of dystopian but i don't think i don't think it's really dystopian but mainly fantasy if you like fantasy you'll hopefully really love this book this is definitely not a romance book but there is some romance in it like very very little and i feel like there definitely has to be more in the other books there has to be right Tell me there has to be. Also, now whenever I hear the word ration, I automatically think of the scene with them at the beginning of the book when they're in the tunnels, and especially mushrooms. If you read the book, you will know why. Okay, so Levi and Sean, that stuff's happening to them. That's what they're going through. Let's get into our third main character, shall we? Astrojox, the prince of Moreno. That's right, guys. We have a prince in this book. He has a POV. By the way, all three of these people have POVs. If you're interested in like books that have different point of views, this has three different ones. And I really, really love this book, if you can't tell. If you decide to read this book, hopefully I'm convincing you. <laughs> that's my that's my goal in this video, by the way, to hopefully convince you to read it because it will hopefully make you really happy and we can talk about it together if you want to. That would be great. And I want to know, I want to know if your team, Sean or Astor, like, and maybe even Team Jason. I don't know. Just tell me. Please read it and tell me. I won't be mad if you're not Team Sean, but I will have a debate with you about it. <laughs> All right, so going back to Aster. This is basically where we get above ground because he does not live underground. He's never been underground. He lives topside as the under earth grounders people call it. So he's living a completely different life, right? A prince and a scientist. Is that an ice cream? Okay, hold on, guys. I think I hear an ice cream truck. Do you hear? I don't think, you probably can't hear that, but if you do, I literally haven't heard an ice cream truck in like five years. This is so random, but yeah, okay, that's weird. Let's, let's get back to the story, shall we? Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. Above ground, they use magic. They use 
magic or at least the royal people use magic and it's the magic system in this book is really really interesting and really like different it's not just like oh i can shoot ice out of my hands boom it's more complicated than than a bunch of other magic systems i've ever seen and it's just so intricate and i really really enjoy it so if you're into like just exploring different magic systems this again is the book for you now, around, it's a little bit different because because they use magic so below ground there's no magic but for the people who lived underground their whole lives like levy and sean they don't believe in magic because like to them it's just fairy tales like that only happens in the stories right like magic doesn't exist wrong they are hardcore scientists everything has a logical explanation to them no so i'm just gonna read the back of the book real quick i'm not gonna show you what it looks like yet but i'm gonna read some of the back of the book and kind of share with you guys a little bit more about aster jocks as they call him because that's his name. Prince Aster Jox will one day rule the Queen's Wizard Corps. By blood and every expectation, he should be a master spellcaster. Instead, he has all the skill of some second-rate street corner trickster. Desperate to be the wizard his beloved country needs, he'll do whatever it takes to learn the trade, even if that means abandoning his family to chase a mysterious academy invitation. Sounds interesting, does it not? All right, so basically the royal family, they're supposed to be master spellcasters, they're supposed to be really good at using magic, but for some reason, Aster is not. He's supposed to be, but he's just not. So now you know a little bit about Aster. And let's just say, at some point, the three of them cross paths. Yep. And release the love triangle. Or wait, what about Jason? Does he even stand a chance? So I really want to team Sean, sure. I think I'm going to make one of those. Let's just say things get interesting when Sean and Levy are first introduced to magic and above ground things should they choose to believe in it even though it's happening right in front of them but no 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 there has to be some logical explanation right more characters are obviously introduced there's other events that occur things that happen if you are interested in this book so far you really need to get it so you can enjoy the book and so we can talk about it okay guys so i think i'm going to reveal the book now time to see if you've actually heard of this book or not which i guarantee you you have it unless you're watching this like not recently when this video comes out in which case i wouldn't know if it's popular or not yet then so that does not count okay that that doesn't count so i think we're gonna have my lovely friend grogu here introduce the book to you drum roll please of caverns and casters by lane and araya nichols now as you can see up here it says the Lost Rose Quartet. That's what the series is called. And if you didn't know, quartet means four. So yeah, this is going to be a four book series. And I'm so excited for it. Okay, the second one's already out, but I'm not. I wasn't going to talk about that one yet because I just wanted to kind of introduce the series before we get started. And as you can see, it's kind of a long book. It's not that it's bad. It's not that this book is bad. I guess the authors didn't have any like real advertisement going on. But yeah, you <laughs> read this please like the character is so you can tell that when they're writing the scientists levy and sean you can tell that they actually know what they're talking about on like other books when like they're like trying to say something smart and it just you can tell they don't know what they're talking about so if you want to go read this book i really really encourage you to go read it like i said i guarantee you you did not know this book existed before you watched this video in case you were interested in what the characters' ages are, it says on the back that Levy Riviere is a 16-year-old scientist in the underground city car six. So yeah, they're around like that age. So this is a YA book, fantasy YA book. There's castles, by the way, princes, kings, uh, scientists, futuristic stuff, but also not futuristic stuff. Basically, this book has it all, and it's so amazing. Go read it. I'm gonna read the back of this book to you. The back of this book is actually different than the new one, but I'm gonna read this one to you real quick. Two subtradian scientists face a world of betrayal and magic. A loyal prince runs away from the country he loves. <laughs> oh, did, did you hear that? A loyal prince runs away from the country he loves. That's hilarious. When their paths twist together, they must twine their talents to survive. So that's only the top of the back of the cover as you can see there's like a bunch more summing up this video this is a book and this is a book you should read you have to read this book right now so you can have a good time and also so i can see if you are team sean team aster or i guess team jason so yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this video thank you guys so much for watching this was made for you guys obviously because i want you to know about this book because it means so much to me and it's so good and i want more people to know about it because it deserves the hype does this book deserve the hype baby yoda or Grogu, I should say. He said yes. He said yes. Good.
I just slapped your eyeball. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching my video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Again, this was so much fun to talk about because I just really want people to know about this book. So if you happen to read this book and you really like it, it would be great if you could give it a review on Amazon maybe and also spread the word about this book series because I feel like it just really deserves more hype than it gets and it's so good and i love it and by the way the new covers are really cool and there's maps in this book and there's like how to pronounce things in the back because some of these words can be kind of hard to pronounce if you have any video recommendations you want me to do i really want to know because i really want to make you hopefully happy that's my goal here bub so yeah i'll hopefully see you guys in my future videos and of course my past videos definitely tell past me hi don't have anything else to say so uh bye bye <laughs>